Hi everyone, welcome to the first week of class. As a reminder, my name is Crystal Pierce and I will be your instructor this semester. Hopefully most of you have had a chance to already look at our Blackboard course page. I did make the course available a few days early. My goal was to allow you to take a look around, to watch the course overview video, post an introduction to our intro board, and also just look through the course materials folder and the um, course orientation folder. So those are sort of the things that I was hoping to give you all a head start on. Now that we're in our first official week of class, what I'm going to do is in this quick overview is I'm going to let you know what we're going to be learning this week, uh, what materials you need to cover, and what assignments you need to do. So every week on the first day of the week, which is typically Monday, because of the holiday, we're starting on a Tuesday this week, but typically on Mondays, I will post this announcement video right here on our announcement page. And in addition to having a video overview of what to expect for the week, you can also see there will be a written overview of what to expect to the week as well. If you want more information about uh, what I have in the course materials folder, and what is in the um, course orientation folder, um, please watch this course overview video. That's where you're going to find that information. I go over the, the syllabus a little bit, the schedule, um, different places to find things on Blackboard. So it's, a, it's an important video to watch, so please make sure that you do that. But this particular video is just going to focus on what we have for our first week of class. So again, here's our course orientation. Please make sure you take a look at that if you have not already. This is also where you're going to find um, where to post your intro. So I really want to get to know more about you. I know these fully online courses don't offer us a lot of opportunities for interaction, but I have found that the intro board is a really great way to uh, at least learn a little bit about each other. I also highly encourage posting a picture. It doesn't have to be a picture of you personally if you're uncomfortable sharing that, but if you'd like to share maybe a picture of a place that you've been, uh, maybe you've been to uh, a great park or um, a national park or a state park or somewhere that you want to share with us, or maybe you have a, a pet that you really love that you want to share. That would be okay too, but pictures make everything a little bit more personable. So I'd really appreciate it if you all could share uh, some type of a picture with us on that intro board. This week, our first week of class, let's take a look at what we'll be doing. So our first week of class, um, and I set my weeks up in an identical fashion. So every single week you will find on this learning module page uh, the week that we'll currently be in. So we're in week one, and you'll find a folder with a little overview of what we're going to do. And when you click on this folder, I lay everything out identically each week. So our objectives, learning objectives, what we'll be learning in class. The activities, so the module activities are typically things you need to read or watch or view in order to understand your assignments. So this first week we're talking about what's environmental science? What's, bi what's uh, environmental biology? So the difference between environmental biology and environmental science, it's, it's essentially the same thing. The only difference and distinction here is that we are focusing more on living things in the environment and how they interact with each other and how they interact with other things that are not living in their environment and how we interact with them. So the great thing about environmental science is it's very intersectional. So there's all kinds of topics we talk about. We talk about chemistry, we talk about physics, we talk about geology, we talk about economics and uh, politics. So a whole host of topics here. But again, we're going to do this through the frame or the lens of biology. So in um, this week's lecture materials, you will find that I have uh, a link to our online textbook. So remember, as I mentioned in the course overview video, we are an OER course, which means there's no additional textbook to buy. Um, I am providing, I'm providing those readings for you. Uh, so there isn't anything additional that you need. So there will be a link uh, each week to our online text that we're using. So when you click on this link, it will take you to our book. Okay, so you can either read the book directly in the web browser, and if you just scroll down, you'll see all of the chapters laid out, and they're laid out in the same order that we actually talk about them in class. So week one, here's Introduction to Environmental Sciences. 
and then it will take you through here's all of the readings that you'll need to do uh, for this particular week. So you can also go back to the contents here if you want to go back. Um, and then we can also, let me see if I can do it. If you scroll back up, if you are interested in having a hard copy of this book, you can download a PDF version of this and you're more than welcome to print it out. So if that works for you, then by all means, you can um, print that off. So that'll be our, our reading each week. So I'll give you a link to the book. Uh, I've also given you a lecture video, uh, one that I do, which is this course introduction video, and one that's a video from a different source that's just kind of talking a little bit more about the process of science. I also provide you with lecture notes, so the notes are based on what you see here in the lecture videos. And then I also have a practice quiz every week. And this quiz is not a graded assignment. This quiz is more or less for you to make sure that you understand what we discussed uh, during this particular topic. So it's not graded, it doesn't count towards your grade, and you can take it as many times as you would, you would like. Okay, So that is what we have in our lecture materials. So once you've completed everything in that folder, next move on to the lab materials. Okay, So for lab this week, our lab is a um, talking about scientific reasoning. So remember that we are actually doing labs that are fully online. So you don't come to campus for any of these. There will be some labs that I will ask you to go outside. And yes, I know it's winter time. I understand that, but there's still things to see even in the winter. So we will be going outside this winter. Um, typically your time outside would be brief. 10, 15 minutes at the most is what you would need and for most of those labs, there isn't anything additional you would need. Um, there might be um, one or two items I would ask you to bring with you outside, but they should be things that you have lying around the house. So there isn't any equipment or anything that you would need to, to purchase to complete these labs. Um, most everything you can, again, either have with you at home or I will offer you some online alternative that you can access instead. Um, so again, this week you'll be doing uh, scientific reasoning. So scientific reasoning um, is just about how we formulate and ask questions in science. You have a document right here which gives you a full set of lab instructions and also questions to answer. So once you've finished with that, you can then upload it uh, back to Blackboard to submit it. Please don't email me uh, your assignments. Please send them through Blackboard. And if you need more information about how to submit an assignment in Blackboard, I do have that information in the course orientation folder. So you're more than welcome to take a look at it there if you need to know how to submit assignments through Blackboard. So you'll do uh, your lecture materials, going through them. You'll do the lab. And then last will be your last two assignments. These assignments are um, participating in a discussion question and then also doing a check-in survey. So the discussion question, again, is um, just like you did for the intro post. The first couple weeks of class, I will post a question for you, and what you will do is just respond to it. So you're going to respond to me, and then you're also going to reply to at least one other student. I have given you some tips in the course orientation folder on how to make a good response post and how to make a good reply to another student post. So I highly recommend taking a look at that. Um, I do have a grading rubric for discussion posts and I do want to make sure that you're fully engaged in answering and responding to other students. So one sentence is not going to cut it for a response. I agree with you, great idea. That's probably not gonna cut it either. So make sure you look at those uh, tips and hints that I gave you for a little bit more information about what I'm looking for in your response posts. And then last but not least is our check-in survey. So the check-in survey actually is um, using a website called Socrative. So each week you're gonna use the same room number to access the quiz and the room number is based on your section. So the information will be right here in the assignment. So if you're section one, it's bio 104 W01. If you're section two or three or four, that's gonna change based on your section number. So you're gonna type in your section number. So I would put in 
bio 104 wo1 and then it's going to ask for your student ID your student ID is your Harper username so whatever your Harper username is that you use to get into Blackboard to get into your email uh, through Harper to get into all of your other services that's the username that you're going to use to access Socrative as well. So you'll type in your Harper username and hit submit and then you'll see that week's check-in quiz. And the check-in quiz is pretty simple. It's usually um, one or two multiple choice questions and then a written question like can you summarize or what did you learn or something like that. So it's pretty simple. Okay. It's also your opportunity to ask me questions. So Sometimes students have questions about the content, but they, they forget to email me or you think, eh, maybe it's just not that important. You can use these Socrative surveys to ask me questions about the content. You're like, I was reading this and I didn't understand. Can you please explain? Uh, I'd be happy to do that for you. So you can leave those questions there as well. Okay, so that about covers it for our first week of class. So again, this week, please make sure that you uh, go through the lecture materials. You complete the lab and you post on the discussion board, and then you also do the check-in survey. So all of your assignments have their due dates right here. I make Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. is my due date um, cutoff, so please submit everything to me by the end of the week. Um, and then if you have any questions as you're going through the course this week, please let me know. That's what I'm here for. My office hours are posted under the faculty information tab, but you can email me at any time. All right, so good luck everybody this week. Let's get off to a great start and I'll be in contact with you again to remind you about all of this in a few days.